question 19. Amina posts three large letters. The postage costs the same for each letter. She pays with a £20 note. Her change is £14.96. What is the cost of posting one letter? Well, because she got £14.96 change, if we subtract that from £20, we'll be able to figure out how much she actually paid for all three large letters. So... £20 take away £14.96. Well, what it's probably easier to do there is actually to count back up from £14.96 up to £20. And the difference will be what you would get if you subtracted it. So from £14.96 up to £15 will be four pence, And that would take us to £15. But then obviously then we've got to get up from £15 to £20, which would be another £5. So it's basically going to be five pounds and four pence. That's how much she must have paid. We could do an actual column method to check this, but in this case, that column method might be difficult because we'd end up with a lot of zeros on the top. And this is what I mean. So you'd have 20.00, which is 20 pounds, subtract 14 pound 96. Now there'll be a lot of borrowing going on here. So, zero take away six, we can't do. We can't borrow from this zero. So, we go to the next column, but we can't borrow from this zero. So, we'd have to borrow from the two. So, we'd cross it out and make that a one. And then one we borrow makes this into a ten. Then that's no use to us because we still can't do the initial zero. Take away six. So, cross out this ten and make that a nine. And make this one into a ten. Cross out the ten, make that into a nine. And make this one into a ten. Now, we can do it. So 10 take away 6 is 4, 9 take away 9 is nothing, 9 take away 4 is 5, and 1 take away 1 is nothing. So yeah, it is indeed £5.4. But that's the cost for posting all three letters. We want the cost for one letter. So this £5.4, we need to share it, or divide it, by 3 to get one letter. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a bush shelter method. So £5.4 divided by 3. 3's into 5 goes 1 remainder 2. That now makes 20. 3's into 20 goes 6. That's 6 3's are 18 remainder 2. So that makes 24. The 3's into 24 goes 8. The only thing that's missing is the decimal point. It just goes above. So your final answer should be one pound sixty eight.